my country gothic. All right, as you, most of you know, I've um, from if you watched the last video, I was recently diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Um, I've already had my surgery. The surgery went very well. Um, just thought I'd give you a little bit of background. About three and a half years ago, um, I started not being able to gain weight and started losing weight quite rapidly. So I went through one set of doctors. I uh, went three and a half years actually to one who we basically looked at everything we could possibly look at. However, um, the thyroid was never discussed or even considered. Um, was not feeling good with the results I was getting with this particular doctor and um, also felt like I was getting treated like cattle in their office and that got a little old so um, decided to go to a doc different doctor um, decided to look into a more holistic doctor that kind of thing um, within three minutes of my first visit with my new doctor Dr. Schroeder he reached up and touched my neck and asked me how long the lump had been there. Um, okay, that was at the beginning of October. Um, I had a biopsy done and that was towards the end of November, excuse me, October. Um, the biopsy results came back that I had papillary carcinoma. It was malignant. Um, that I did need to have my thyroid removed. So the surgery was scheduled for December 1st. I had the surgery, it all went very, very well. Um, they think they got it all out of there. Um, I do have, as Kevin Blanche would call it, I do have a, a Utah smile. If I can get a couple of dots there and have a nice day tattoo, it'll be nice. Um, but the reason for this video um, is basically my next step in this process is I'm going to be going through a radioactive iodine treatment now. Um, I'm going to be given a rather high dose of uh, radioactive iodine 131. Um, I will be radioactive for a few days um, and I do have a Geiger counter and we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. Um, you know, may as well keep a positive attitude towards things. So uh, what I wanted to do for this video is just set a baseline, show that I'm actually not radioactive before we get started so we kind of have something to compare with now that being said my Geiger counter is extremely old and um, sometimes unreliable so um, I'm going to try and sync up this camera I've got on the Geiger counter and there we go alright so um, I've actually got it set for uh, 5 millirentkins per hour um, and so we've got a baseline here to work with. Um, what I have here is I have a sample of uh, americium, which you'll find, you know, in, in your smoke detector. It's really the only man-made radioactive element you can uh, own. And now, pardon the buzz, but it's very old equipment. All right, I'm going to remove the shield. And I'm going to hold it about the same distance that I'm going to hold it from my skin when I do the test after I've taken the iodine. Okay, so here we go. Okay, that's holding it level. Hope you can hear that. Okay, and we're getting about one, one to two millirentkins an hour. Personally, what's going to happen is um, they'll give me the radioactive iodine. First, they're going to starve uh, the thyroid tissue, which is uh, the only iodine absorbing tissue in your body. Um, they're going to starve me of iodine, so all that tissue is actually very, very hungry for the iodine. The iodine, the radioactive iodine, will go in, it will kill what remaining cells are there. Um, it's I've had a lot of success with this. Um, I will be getting a rather high dose. I'm not sure exactly how much yet, but I will be getting a very high dose of radiation. Okay, so for right now, um, background counts, one or two, it's actually very low. Um, you can see with my hands, there's no uptick. Now where it's going to concentrate is where any thyroid tissues may be left in my neck area. So 
this area is going to end up being probably where we'll find the concentration of it. So checking the scar area. There's nothing. So nothing there. Um, glands, bullet should be affected, that kind of thing. S uh, salivary glands will be affected. Um, so anyway, this is just to prove that it wasn't radioactive before we started all this. And plan to be radioactive in the first place. Um, as to you know the cause of this, um, it can be caused by nuclear accidents. Um, it can be caused by a, a myriad of things. Um, not necessarily X-rays or anything like that when you were a kid. Uh, I did a lot of exploring in uh, southern Nevada deserts, so it could have been there, it could have been Chernobyl, it could be, it, it really could be a lot of things. Um, the sad part of all this is, though, is it's kind of a, it's, it's a downwinder situation, okay? So if you, if you pick this up from being downwind of a test site or downwind of a nuclear power plant, um, we're all downwinders now. Fukushima has made every single person to, on planet Earth a downwinder. Okay, the uptick in, in thyroid cancer, it, it, the curve is going to be massive. You need to check your neck. Okay, there's a few simple things you can do. Now, your doctor should be doing it. Um, as a kid, I remember every doctor, the first thing they would do is check your thyroid when you walk into the office. Okay, that was never done for like three and a half years at one office I went to. Three minutes into my first visit with the new doctor, and he found it. Okay, um, you need to check your neck. I'm going to provide a link below um, for an organization that you can take a look at what to look for. Um, I, there was a video earlier on YouTube. Um, itchy, sounds like she's having thyroid problems. Um, as you know, Kevin Bland, she's <laughs> battling leukemia. Um, I'm afraid it's just going to get worse from here. You know, We're going to have to be diligent and the, the, the treatments that they have nowadays, they can really save your life. Um, I'm really shocked at how aggressively they went after this. Um, please, too. Uh, my surgeon, uh, Dr. Shishong at Colorado Springs, did a wonderful job, and he actually took 10 years off my life. I lost a chin, which was a bonus. So, anyway, uh, this is where we're at. Um, next video to follow will probably be in a few weeks. I'm not sure exactly uh, when they're going to do it. But I'm going to follow this step by step and hopefully get some footage of the whole process um, if they'll let me. And thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. And um, I, all I can say is for all the, the well wishes on, on YouTube, Facebook, all my friends and family, thanks a lot. I'm alive. I'm staying that way. Thanks, guys.